Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'm gonna show you how I make this easy, simple shrimp sausage low carb rice. This recipe is also dedicated to my best friend. Uh, she's a healthcare worker, she's a nurse. And so I wanted to do something special for her since she's always under so much stress taking care of sick people. These are my ingredients right here. I have a poblano pepper, that's what it looks like. I have rotel, you can use fresh tomatoes. I have my cauliflower rice right here. I have two kinds. Of it and I'm using the savory one because I am allergic to shellfish so I wanted something to help me with flavor that no matter what I did there will still be flavor here because I can't taste it so to season my shrimp I'm going to use my spicy girl or you can use your favorite Creole or Cajun seasoning as well as some adobo make sure you season your shrimp though you guys season your shrimp you know I'm always gonna go in about that <laughs> I'm also gonna use some dry thyme on the shrimp so they're nice and well seasoned so I know they're good to go even though I can't try it so this is what your shrimp should look like if it don't look like this start over now I'm gonna add my coconut oil use your favorite oil to the skillet I'm gonna saute my shrimp and get a nice crust on it well the best I can <laughs> and then we're gonna move on All right, so this is what my shrimp looks like. I didn't touch it. This is my first time mixing it up and I'm gonna remove it because you don't wanna cook this forever. Just maybe two minutes on that one side and remove it. Um, if you have bigger shrimp than I do, maybe you need three minutes, but don't overcook your, sh your shrimp, you guys, because it's gonna be cooking again once we put everything together. So I'm gonna remove it all from the skillet just like this. And next I'm going to start searing off my sausage. Now you can use whatever sausage you prefer. Um, I don't suggest using a super hot sausage here um, unless you want to, but you know. Y'all, this little gadget right here, I love it so much because it's so easy to use. I ain't got to break my hand no more trying to open cans. <laughs> it's the best, I swear. So then I'm going to add my poblano pepper to my sausages and and mix that up i uh, just want to note that poblano peppers are not hot you guys they're just flavor they add a lot of flavor so you don't need um it's not hot so don't be worried about that it's flavor next i'm going to add my cauliflower rice as you can see those frozen uh herb parts that's in the first one that i put in there so you don't have to use the herb one you can use the straight up unseasoned one if you prefer and i use uh five ounce of the 10 ounce can of rotel Next, I'm going to season this. Season this however you want. I did use Spicy Girl. I'm going to mix this up, cover it, and allow it to cook for 10 to 12 minutes. Just so everything can marry together. Once it's 10 to 12 minutes, this is what it looks like. Look how, y'all, I swear, I'm going to make this with without shrimp. Because I really want to know what this tastes like. It looks so good. Oh my God. So then you want to add your shrimp down in here. Get it all mixed in together. Since we've been cooking all this together for like 15 minutes now. You want to add your some freshness. So add some fresh parsley or some fresh cilantro. I use fresh cilantro. And I'm going to plate this up and let you guys see what it looks like. To be honest, this is such a hearty, festive, and pretty plate of food, and I can't wait to make this again without the shellfish. Um, I hope my friend loves it. She likes, she loves, she's obsessed with shellfish and, and you know, shrimp, lobster, and things like that, so um, I was happy to even make this for her, so I'm going to put everything together how, I send, um, how I'm going to send it off with her so you guys can see what that looks like. So this is what I ended up with. I uh, have some uh, candy canes because I didn't have any dessert today. I give her some tea bags, some fruit, and I packed it up in these, you know, Chinese food tubs. And um, that's pretty much it. And so I decided to make her a quick drink. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make her these little shots she could take when she gets home. So I'm going to put some Amsterdam down in these little shot cup things that I made jello in. 
Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with me. Something is really, really wrong with me. But anyway, so then I'm going to add a smidgen of juice just to give it some color. Just a smidgen. And that's it. And so I want to thank Diamond and all the other healthcare workers. Thank y'all for, for all you do. I pray for you guys all the time. And, you know, what would we all be without you guys, you know, being on the front lines? So thank y'all so much. And thank you, Diamond, for being an amazing friend. Thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you on my next one. Bye, you guys.